Okay, we'll come back to Africa 54. It's time for our Music Maker segment. A while ago, Music Time in Africa host Heather Maxwell took a musical journey across Rwanda. One of her stops was a, a school of music and art. Now, now Heather is here to tell yes. us all about it. Tell us about this school. How did you get to this place? Well, uh, I went there in early June. Mm -hmm. I heard that there was uh, Rwanda's first national music school had just opened on March 10th. First one, yeah. The very first one. And um, the Workforce Development Authority had awarded a countrywide talent search mm -hmm. for the inaugural class of music students. And so when I showed up, um, what we're going to see is the students welcoming me with a traditional song and dance. That was big. Yeah. Why don't we watch this? All right. Let's watch this. This is about, uh, it was a trip. It's a lady who get married um, abroad. So this is the trip, how the, the guy is telling uh, to the lady, uh, I bring home, this is a wonderful place. Everything will be okay for you. So please follow me. Oh. <laughs> nice. That was beautiful. Wasn't it? Yes. You're not doing a bad job yourself. Uh, not so bad. <laughs> now, let me ask you, this is a question because you were there. Yeah. Do you know where, where they take those movements from? I don't know that. All right, I'll tell you. They imitate the movements of a cow because they keep cattle. They really cherish the animals. And so they imitate the movements of, of a cow and they glorify the cow. Oh, it's really? So beautiful. Yeah, that's where the dance comes from. It's amazing. Now, is any of this, uh, has any of them been recorded professionally? Any of them, the singers? Not, not and, that and, I know and of. Yeah. Not that I know of. I spoke to several of the students, yeah. and um, that's what they want to learn there. Yeah. And that's the goal of a music school, is yeah. to professionalize and promote the music industry, yeah. starting with the students, get them, in record, get them to sing well or perform well or whatever they do, mm -hmm. and then get them into recording studios with a professional sound and really and really make this it. But so far, no, they haven't. This is, yeah, it would yeah. be great because, again, it will be uh, capturing the kind of traditional Rwandan music and modernizing exactly. it and making it that's, international. That's so exactly people can understand it. why they dance the way they do. You got you it. Know, it's just not for nothing. <laughs> well, thank you very much, uh, Heather. Uh, be sure to visit Facebook and type in the keywords music time in Africa and you can see what time Heather Maxwell's radio program can be heard in your area and get more information about some of our featured artists.